So, as we talk about mental health matters, I listen to Dr. Amon, I think that's his name. He's talking about your brain health matters as well. You dig a lot of people that are suffering right now from stress, anxiety, depression, and possibly even suicide. You know, that's what I call the SADs, right? And that's because we are in a, you know, um, digital world, right? We are in a world that is processed, artificial, fake. You dig? So it's not a lot for your brain to be able to flow. You know what I'm talking about? It's not a lot for your brain to be able to flow. So if you can't flow, you understand me? It's nowhere where the energy can go. So what I was looking at, they was giving a breakdown about and these are some of the tiers of things that I'll be giving my breakdown and teaching, you know, especially when it comes to dealing with it. Because a lot of people, they dealing with depression right now. They just can't get out of it. And as much easy as it is to just tell somebody to get over something, you understand me? That's really not how reality works. Some people can be operated from that by just telling somebody to slap themselves out of it. And some people have a will so powerful that they can change that molecular structure. They can change their biological energy, you understand me, they can move past it before the rest of the world who are not ascended to that type of thought process and movement, you 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 know, you want to look at your biological level, right, physical things that you can do um, to be able to change your body, right, that may have an impact on, you understand me, your psyche, right, so you have your psychic mind and then you have your physical brain and these two things have to be dealt with, right, um, one of the things that a lot of people don't even realize, like inconsistencies within your chemistry and differentiations in your hormonal balance can change your chemistry in the body, which can cause right overproduction of certain chemicals that and, and, and you know, uh, underproduction of certain chemicals that can leave you depressed, that can have you stressed, that can give you anxiety. Right. Um, one of the things that doctors will recommend is like. Blood test. Do your blood test. See if there's something that you're intaking or something that was wrong with you, right? Because a lot of the times the problems of disease, you go find it in the blood. You clean the blood, you clean the problem. If you don't have the ability, this is one thing you got to understand because sometimes it's not, you know, what we consider to be mental health. We think, you know, are not physical things, immaterial mind, but a lot of times at the same time, it is your physical brain. Your physical brain. You know what I'm talking about? So this is what we have to do. When we're dealing with the physical, Max Too Nice, send me a DM. I'm going to try to get that done. Um, the physical brain is being able to understand things that are actually going on with you from a biological sense. What's going on with your body? What's going on with your brain? Right? If you're not eating anything that is providing nutrition to your body... Right. Providing minerals and the things that you may need. Right. Or taking in probiotics or like me, you know, I take in, you know, I, I got my mushroom products right over at Goldwater. Hold on. Let me put let me to matter of fact, let me put this down there. So if you all want to get you off some. Boom, Bowski. If any point in time, y'all want to get you off some. So we got the mushrooms, right? So the mushrooms, what do they do? The mushrooms allow you to be able to increase that neuroplasticity in the brain, keeping your brain fresh, keeping your brain young. So the question becomes a lot of people that, you know, and I'm going to deal with two things because there are some people that say, well, I got stress, I got anxiety, I got depression, and I'm perfectly physically healthy, I'm plant-based, I do all these different things, right? So that's great. And we're going to deal with that as well. So first, let's deal with the people who don't do with those things, because you got to look at yourself. And I was listening to Dr. Oman and he was talking about the biological, the psychological, the sociological and the spiritual. Right. And these are four different ways where you can start grading yourself. And I promise you, you're not going to find nobody who is in complete tip top shape on all of these things that have any issues that you, you won't find a person in the world that is depressed who is spiritually aligned, right? Uh, uh, um, sociologically, their environment, right? Their relationships are all good. The psychology, their learning habits, their reading habits, you know, the way they think, their belief system, they think in a positive manner. They're very mindful. They, they meditate and they do all of these different things that are right. And then from a biological sense, right? 
they eating their nutrition, you know, they getting their greens, they taking their probiotics, they doing their mushrooms, their vitamins, they working out, they detoxing, right? They cleansing their blood, right? They doing all of these different things. You're not going to find no person like that on this good green earth that also says, man, not going to lie, I'm still depressed. I still got issues. It don't exist in that capacity. And so what happens is most people be like, well, it's hard for me to do though keys. They gonna say it's hard for me to, you know, I can't afford to get myself physically together. You know, I'm lazy or I don't have a gym or whatever. Right. So even that's part of your psychology that reinforces the negative mindset that you have that is congruent towards your state of mind, which would be stress, anxiety or depression. Right. And then some people deal with things like OCD, some people deal with things like schizophrenia, right? Some people have all of these different behavior disorders because their mind is stuck in different modes. But you got to be able to cleanse the brain to get your mind through it, right? So let's start from a biological sense, right? And and this is the beauty of it. You know, um, I got seen somebody in here, man. Somebody said I talk too much, but they come in here to hear me talk. So yes, they are a heckler. They are a troll. And, and I'm good with that because they most of the people, if I ever see somebody in the comments, these are people that got mental health conditions and issues that they literally, you got to understand this phone is dangerous for people, right? If you got a mental health issue and you got a phone, you now have access to just go bother people so you can feel seen, right? And this gives you a slight feeling, right, <laughs> of, of, of dopamine that you bothering somebody else, bringing them down. So... You know, I understand that these are mental health patients that we deal with on a daily basis. You dig? Like, that's that's dangerous, especially having a large platform. I know exactly, like, yo, these people got problems and issues. And I don't know who they are. So it's, it's, it, I would never react emotionally to none of these people. Um, and so I get that. So right now, let's go back to the biological sense, right? Let's talk about the body. If a person can tell me, say, Keys, man, I, I, I eat, I eat completely congruent to a great lifestyle, right? Man, I get all of the vitamins. I eat all of the vegetables. I'm eating all of the fruits, right? I'm, I'm eating all of my greens when I need to. I'm getting the fiber within my diet, right? I'm making sure the probiotics is up there. I'm, I'm getting the antioxidants, right? I'm, I'm, because you have to understand that the bio your biological Field and aura is affected from multiple things that you may not pay attention to, right? Like, let's say the phone, right? I was listening to another good system. Y'all know that in the crowns, we put the electromagnetic frequency protectors within the phone. I mean, within the crowns, right? In the hats, and you can get them within our regular crowns as well. So why do we do that? It's because all of these technologies that we have are emitting electromagnetic frequency signals. And on a consistent and daily basis... That can have an effect on our bodies, right? It can be giving people headaches and all these other neurological things. And we're supposed to have the system is breaking it down. She said, you know, the antioxidants that's within our body are naturally supposed to protect us from against these things. But based on our condition and our, the consistency of always being introduced to this radiation, right, then it can actually be wearing down our antioxidants. So you need to be eating things that are antioxidant rich to increase Right. That within your body so that you can have that protection. Right. Or you need to be having different things that like we put the we got the EMF chips. We put them on the hat. Sometimes we put them on a the phone. Sometimes we put them on the computers because we want to decrease the radiation that gets into the body because we understand that. Then from a biological level. And I'm not going to go deep into this because in the BWO, I'm going to give a full breakdown. It's going to be a full curriculum. Right. Because I want people to be able to cure their stress, anxiety and depression by Going through all these different things. So you have to understand how blue light affects the body. You have to understand your circadian rhythm and your sleep cycles and how that affects the body. You have to understand your uh, intake of vitamin D, right? Especially during winter times, right? And being able to intake that vitamin D and getting that good radiation from the sun is effective on the body, right? And so during different cycles, we have to do different things to protect our health. So going into the fall winter cycle is one of the most dangerous times for people, especially that have these mental deficiencies, right? And disorders and issues because now it's less vitamin D. 
Now you're going to go through a hormonal imbalance. You're not getting that sun. It's not help regulating that body. Right. So there may be overcast on the sky when you are trying to go naturally get your sunlight. So you have to spend increased times out there during overcast time so you can get some of that field of radiation so it can help create that circadian rhythm, which tells your body right to be naturally in tune and to process things the correct way. You understand me like this is. This is important. We are human beings and we know everything about our jobs. We know everything about celebrity lives. We know everything about Kanye's shirt. We know everything about all the issues, problems and things that persist from white supremacy to the system to all of the issues in the world. But we are not masters of self. Mental engineering is key and becoming a master of yourself is key. How much do you know about this body that you have to operate from? Right. So once you master that and you have this knowledge and these tools, now you can go over to the psychology side. You say, well, listen, man, I, I didn't do everything I can do from a biological sense, man. I'm solid. B. I, I got all this information. I know how my brain work. My, I know how all these things is working. So I say, OK, good. Well, let's move forward. And this is going to be a chart that we're going to take people through in the BW world. We're going to take you through the mental engineering, the psychological engineering, the sociological engineering and the spiritual engineering. Right. And I believe with this four set system, by going through this right and be helping you become a master of each one of these areas, you have the ability to be fully complete. Right. And be at a high level at all times. So. Let's say from a psychological sense, right, it goes into many different things. First, we have to go and codify what are your beliefs because we have firm beliefs and we have soft beliefs. Firm beliefs are very hard to change. Soft beliefs are can be swayed and moved by influence, right? So we can see some, hear somebody's opinion on something. That's a soft belief that we can change about something, right? We can change a perspective about something, right? Hard beliefs are, you know, your, your, your beliefs that are wired into your political beliefs, right? Your religious beliefs or your self-image, right? Things that you believe about yourself. When you close your eyes, you see yourself a certain way. There's a confidence meter of how confident you really think that you are. Not from a conscious standpoint that you're going to give that answer. From a subconscious that you actually believe, Right? Then, you know, it's the same thing about, you know, the way you feel about your physical image. How do you see yourself? Right. There's a lot of people that are insecure if they don't have a certain amount of money. They're not with a certain type of person. If they don't have a certain type of clothes if they don't have a certain type of jewelry or car. Right. Or whatever. Then psychologically, they self image is downgraded a few points. So that's another system that we're going to go off of. Then we're talking about from a psychological level. Right. We also talking about brain health there as well, because we're talking about what are you actually doing to keep your brain young? Your brain doesn't just stay young on its own. There's reading that you have to do, right? There's certain learning you have to do. You have to impose sometimes taxing mental exercises so that your brain is forced to grow because if you're not using it, you lose it, right? And, and, and when I study, right, the brain, I see that, okay, at certain types, at certain points of our developmental ages for our brains, we have all these neurons, we have all these connections, we have all these things. But over time, if we don't use it, they start to disappear. Our brain says, well, we don't need all this up in here. You understand? It's like giving a person a library with infinite books and the, 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 the keeper say, well, if you don't use these books in 17 years, I'm going to start taking away these books. You never even pulled this book. You never even looked at this book. You definitely never read this book. Right. So you stop even visiting. You don't even go to certain sections of this infinite library. So if you don't go there, then the librarian comes start taking it away. So by the time you get to age 25. Right. The only thing that is left is actual books that you've ever touched, actual books you ever engaged with and expose yourself to. That's all that's there. So now you're able to pull from that. Right. And learn from. But now if you don't have it there. You have to go outside your own mental library and try to get it, but it's going to be harder. All right, Brian, like, man, I don't know, man. I, you, you, you've been slacking. I don't know if I'm going to give you that one, right? I need you to learn from the books that you already got there. So now you're trying to pick up new habits and new things in your brain. Like, bro, you ain't used this in 17, 18, 19, 25 years. Now, all of a sudden, you're trying to force me to go learn something. Man, you ain't even got no strength in that area. That's not even in your mental library. 
So that's how I look at neurons. And this is this is the things you all need to understand. Right? I know I got text gold down there. That's for gold water. But I really want you all to get in the BWO because I want you to be a part of this program. I want to see transformation happen within the community. Right? We can get our mind right. We can get our money right. That's just different. So this coaching program is probably going to be the best thing I ever put together. You know what I'm talking about? So, you know, like I said, you have your soft belief, you have your hard belief. These are two different type of wiring and programs. Um, and then, right, um, let's go to sociological. There's a lot more in psychology that I can go about, but we're not, I'm not trying to give you the full blueprint right here. I'm just trying to go high level and give you overview. Low level is actually giving you the details of it, right? And this is what people got to understand when they talk about low level and high level. One is not a higher moral you know, position. It's not saying something is better than the other, but high level is just a bigger viewpoint. It's like if you looking at, you know, the earth from the position of the moon, you're getting a high level view. You see the full thing. Low level is you coming to the ground and you actually seeing the inner workings, the people, the businesses, the infrastructure, the jobs, you know, the government, all of that. That's low level view. You dig? So when we give in high level, we're just trying to give you the bigger picture. Right. But when you get into the actual courses, what you want in courses, what you want in coaching programs and education is you actually want low level information as well, because it puts perspective, context and understanding to your high level overview. Right. So in high level conversations, that's part of your psychological rhythm for better mental health. Right. Because you're getting high level and now all you have to do is go study Upon those things further, and now you can get the full. All right? All right, so we're talking about sociological. Sociological for me will be, first of all, relationships and environment. There's many people who don't find themselves, and this is what you really have to understand, is that it's okay. It is okay. Oh, I put the wrong number. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Wrong number. Thank you. Thank you. Make sure once you get in there, you send in your application and I'm trying to get you approved as fast as possible. You say, what's the young guy name who speak truth? It's like 19 keys. I don't know, man. It's just 19 keys. Uh, so sociological. These are things that we're really going to study, right? Your environment. Right. First, from a sociological level, which goes into psychology is adverse childhood experiences, which relate the detail of why your relationships and your psychology are the way that they are right now. Right. So in these sessions, we're going to give you a few things for you to be able to measure and understand about your site, your sociology, your environment, and how to increase your environment and make it better. And when it comes to relationships, right, our relationships can be taxing on our psychology it can be taxing on our physiology it can be taxing on our spirit so our relationships are very important because our relationships can make us depressed and we don't feel valued you can be in a relationship and feel alone these are not good relationships so being able to cultivate fulfilling relationships and reciprocal relationships is the most important reciprocity and relationship is key so listen Access, I'm going to pause this to give an uh, answer to a question. FG underscore 47. Everybody that's in the BWL, press one if you just got into it. Um, we will be doing an onboarding for Wednesday. That's going to be live. So you ain't got to worry about that. Wednesday, we'll be doing an onboarding and a registration for everybody that is part of so you get all of your information. Remember, the actual community will exist on our app. There's an app that we have developed it's probably about two weeks out right now, maybe three at the top. So do not worry. You will be a part of that. This is the first week. This whole process, we're going to be going through onboarding. There's going to be communication sent through the email. But anyway, let's get back to the topic at hand. So, you know, from we got biology, psychology, sociology, and then spirituality, right? So from a sociology level, right, we got to analyze these things from our relationships and our environment, right? Environment is stronger than nature. So your environment can change you to make you go against your nature. And the moment that you start doing that, you start to feel like an imposter. You start to feel like you're not aligned. 
You dig? And this is called depression within self. It's like working a dead end job that you don't enjoy. You understand me? And there's nothing fulfilling about it whatsoever. Right. So now you're trying to do things to escape. So you may overeat. Right. You may create false beliefs to keep you there. But the environment does not align with you. So the environment is killing you. You know what I'm talking about? The higher kid. No, if you got infinite wealth strategies, you still get access to all of the courses that's within infinite wealth strategy. Make sure you DM the wealth strategies underscore um, IG. Um, all right. Somebody said I'm not an expert, but the reason Robin GR88 is here is because he know that sometimes the keys are better than the experts. <laughs> you dig? That man said, I'm not an expert. He sat here and listened to the whole live since the beginning to the end. And he talking about why y'all listening. Why you listening, brother? See, you know you listening because this is good for your psychology. And this is good sociology. This is good to surround your environment, too. Man, I ain't going to lie. Y'all be cracking me up sometimes. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Look, crazy, man. I swear. Where man, people be having some problems, problems, dude. <laughs> Tell about y'all, you here too, B. <laughs> Whoo, man, I needed that. See, laughter is good, man, for the for, for, for the environment. But anyway, man, we're gonna go deeper into sociology later, but this is this is template, right? And then spirituality, which is very important, right? Because everything, this is why you know. Everything, one of these don't have to be 100% for you to be mentally stable, but you should have a good read about 60 to 70%. You should be on the marks of hitting at least seven and eights in all these areas. But when spirituality, I really want you to be hitting a nine or if you can get to a 10, right? And with a lot of these templates that we're going to give you, we're really going to give you that ability to hit 10 on it. We're going to give you that ability to hit 10. Because I believe that if you are spiritually aligned, right, even if you're not physically, um, if you're not physically in shape, you're not biologically in the right place, right? Your, your, you know, your, your body is not that great. Um, you're not eating that great. Even, you know, your psychology, you may be stressed, have um, anxiety and things of that nature. I believe that if your spirit is aligned, this can actually overcome a lot of those things. Right. Because you would be willing to go through the stress and the anxiety because it's fulfilling. So for me, spirituality is purpose. And that's what I'm going to go dive deep in and really get you the keys on how to become spiritually aligned and understanding the karmic debt that you inherit through your parents. You did because a lot of us, we are living a life. Right. Um. We got to be spiritually aligned with ourselves. So spirit is just key. It's your own breath. It's your own energy. It's your own life force. Right? And sometimes we can give that life force to things that we're not actually aligned with. You understand me? So it's like being with somebody who don't have the same beliefs with you. Working at a place where you are not morally aligned with. You don't think you, you, you're making money, but you don't feel like you're doing something that's actually good for the world. It don't make you happy. It don't bring you joy, right? So your spirit is going to seek, right? It's going to be always trying to pull towards the thing that is more connected to your nature. But here, this is where you at, right? So you stuck here, but you want to be there. So spirit is always going towards where your real nature is. So if you're forcing yourself to be somewhere, you start to feel imprisoned. I have a video I put up years ago about when I fired my job. When I fired my job, the reason I did it because I was no longer spiritually aligned. I was physically great, biologically great, psychologically started to drain because anxiety and depression. So when spirit is not aligned, it can start to bring upon stress and anxiety and the stress and anxiety starts to bring upon the depression because you're not spiritually aligned. So when most people say, I haven't found my purpose, what we haven't learned is to substitute that word is I haven't learned to be spiritually aligned. Right. My spirit is not jailed with the things that I'm doing on a daily basis. You dig? So this is my talk for mental health day. Right. Spiritual health day. Right. Environmental health day. Right. Psychological health day. You got to understand that it's not one thing. And when you say just mental, 
you are actually leaving people uh, with the decreased decreased ability right to get themselves together so you, you won't be able to have your health together unless you get those other things and then of course all of these things feed into the financial aspect right so then we start to see increase in every area right i promise you this is just life this is the way it works